doing great. Keep breathing. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, it's gonna really hurt. Keep going, Justin. I know it's gonna really suck. Okay. One more tight. One more going. There we go. Excellent. To commit yourself to this role is to commit yourself to being out on the front lines in a type of profession that's currently under a tremendous amount of strain. So I think they're courageous. They're intelligent. They're actively wanting to help the healthcare system. Okay, guys. Epi is in. After having a career in paramedicine, what you see is you can tangibly look back and see lives that you have affected and you've positively changed. I just want to help people, honestly. I think that's what every paramedic would say. <laughs> I wanted to work in a job that was dynamic and challenging and different each day. So I knew that healthcare was an option for that. I knew college and paramedics would be hands-on, I just didn't realize how hands-on it would be. I had no idea exactly what I was getting into. You can read and do everything through a textbook, but until you actually get hands-on, it's like trying to put that all together. It, it just doesn't work if you don't actually practice it. Where the magic really happens is in simulation class. The students work in uh, smaller subgroups and practice their skills in uh, simulations that last uh, 12 to 14 minutes. It's very quick. It's You have to pick up, you have to go, you have to practice, you have to do a lot all at once, and I think I wasn't expecting that. They want to put you through really stressful situations and kind of teach you how to adapt to that. They do a really good job at uh, making sure that you are in a scenario, that you are overloaded so that you can think properly in high stress situations. And that's when they learn uh, crew resource management, how to interact with one another, how to talk with patients, how to execute their skills and procedures in a, a professional, efficient way and in a timely fashion, and primarily to do these skills under pressure. Intense as it is, it's not intimidating because everyone's here to support you and they're here to help you be successful and grow and learn and do the best that you can so that you are ready. Back down to you, Hunter. Good. Okay, so we're gonna just go on. You hold this for a second. I'll hold it. There we go. You keep doing that. The instructors here are great. I think that if they weren't as great as they were, it might <laughs> it might be uh, more challenging. They either are currently working paramedic or they have been working as a paramedic. And so they all have lots of experience, lots of stories, lots of wisdom to share. They, they want you to succeed, they want to see you grow. Um, they're, they're very involved and I think that they're, they're phenomenal. There's definitely like a little paramedic program community. I know my classmates extremely well. That we're really close, we've all become really familiar with each other, we're all there to help each other, whether it's professors, whether it's other students, whether it's the second year students, there's always people around to help. We've been through a lot together, a lot of, I mean, exams, but also just stressful times together. And uh, I feel very close to these people and definitely some of them I'll be probably talking to the rest of my life. Yeah. When you come here, we will take you and help form you into a capable, strong, functional paramedic. We are deeply invested in helping you meet your objectives and to become a good paramedic. It's not simply that you understand concepts and you can pass a test. Myself and my team, we're going to take the effort and the time to make sure that you get through this process as best as you can and to look out for you. And I will be there to help you, as will the rest of the team. If you come here, you will come out a very effective paramedic, what we would classify as an elite paramedic who is can work anywhere in Ontario.